Damn, he really a cheater. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. So today we're gonna get into a story time, girl. This is just a story time, you know, my personal experience. Because honestly, I'm really bored with YouTube. I'm bored with the get ready with me. I'm bored with the vlogs. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, let me get back to my content that I love to create you know what i'm saying and get to know y'all on a personal level and also y'all get to know me by like these stories and hopefully it becomes relatable to y'all i don't know i just like to talk to y'all sip and spill story time edition this is like nothing we're just talking like this is not to bash anybody or anything like that it's just you know to get you know information out there that these little industry niggas that y'all worship and just glorify it's just not shit it seemed like everybody on the internet is perfect their relationship is so oh my god like no it's not but i'm not here to bash anybody or anything like that I'm never gonna name names i'm never a corny ass i feel like corny people do that shit corny people go on the internet and just you know bash people on their names have videos and shit text messages trying to expose these industry niggas like we already know they not shit we already know they not shit girl you don't need to validate that trying to be relevant because you're not gonna get followers you're not gonna get none of that so this is not that this is just a little story time okay we trying to go figure and nothing out girl do not try and put two and two together because you're not gonna find out you're you're just not okay but this is just my own personal experience that i want to, you know talk to you guys about because i love a little girl chat okay and this is a sip and spill story time edition y'all these are so good anyway so you need to get you a little drink because i'm about to spill like a little story a little tea you know a little tea a little tea ain't hurt nobody baby okay <laughs> so we're just gonna start the story off so it was like a friday night it was a friday night and my homegirl she wanted to go out to eat because i haven't seen her in a while and obviously we're both new to the city me and her are both new to the city and we haven't seen each other in a while so she asked me to dinner so we go out to dinner y'all and when you're out in the egg you never expect to go home after dinner girl it's either gonna be drinks hookah something something gonna go on after that you know little dinner setting because y'all already had drinks and stuff so me and my friend, we like, okay, like, what's what's the move? What's what's the next move? And I'm like, girl, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, I don't care. So she's like, I want to go to this place, but it's very popping and very popular out here in the A. So she wanted to go there, and I was with it. I was like, okay, I'm already out, drinks is flowing. I already, I'm already feeling myself. So let's go, whatever you want to do. After we have dinner, we go to the next spot. This place that we went to, we walk in there, it's like literally nowhere to sit. It's nowhere to sit. They obviously have a bar, but the bar is full. So I go straight, me and her walk down straight to see if we find a table or whatever. No table. Literally five minutes. Not even there for five minutes, girl. Not even there for five minutes. This dude comes up to us and he's like, So-and-so wants you all at his section. And y'all, when I tell you, I was like, who? I was like, who, what, when, where, and why? Like, there's no way. There's no way this nigga is here right now. Because, y'all, this dude that wanted us in his section, he has a public relationship. I didn't think he was cheating. Like, me personally, I didn't think he was a cheater because everybody is glorifying this relationship. And, you know, it's just like, giving us hope giving the girls hope like maybe maybe it's like a good perfect relationship out there other than sierra and russell williams okay what so <laughs> in my head i'm like there's no way like there's no way and i i thought this dude was such he's a high profile dude 
and you know the relationship is very glorified i fucked with the relationship too i was like oh they're so cute blah 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 so he like come on so me and her like okay like whatever so we just walk in you know dude, dude, dude. dude is there and we need to give him a name we need to give him a name girl what we gonna name him we gonna name him i'm looking at my orange flowers right now i'm not gonna name him orange flowers we gonna name him Rose because I'm sipping on Rose. So I'm like, damn, damn, it's really no hope. Cause I'm like, this nigga is a cheater. In my head, I'm like, he's a cheater. He's a cheater. Like, damn, damn, I never heard about this nigga ever, too. He must be moving a little discreetly. I never heard of him being exposed or anything like that. So. We at the section or whatever, so we sitting down, me and my friend, we sitting down. She's on the side of me right here. I'm right here. And then this other dude is right here, the boy that called us over. And then Rosé is on the other side of him. So I'm not paying no attention to Rosé because I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. Me and my friend didn't have nowhere to sit at the end of the day. So we going to sit down in your section. We going to sit the fuck down because there is nowhere to sit. Rosé taps me. So he like, where you from? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm from Wisconsin, blah, blah, blah. He's like talking to me, having a full blown conversation over the nigga that's right here on the side of us. And he tried, and I know how this shit go. Like, I was impressed about it because one, I didn't care. I don't want him or nothing like that. So it was just like, he wanted to move like discreetly to make it seem like, you know, he wasn't trying to push up on me and have somebody right there while we're talking, obviously. So we having a full blown conversation like um over this nigga. He's like, so do y'all want to go to the next spot with us? And I was just like, I was looking at my friend and she was looking at me and I was looking at my friend and she was looking at me and I was looking at my friend and she was looking at me. It's whatever, fuck it. Cause I wanted my home girl to have a home night, a good night at the end of the day. Like you, at the end of the day, these niggas is so easy to, you know, get something out of these dudes, especially when it's going out. That's why it's so easy for girls to enjoy their night without spending their money because these dudes will, you know, cash out, whatever, whatever. You wanna have a good time. What is it? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. We all walk out the spot together. So then he like, Rose like, hey, come in my car, come in my car. And I was about to get in the car with my friend so we could go to the next spot and like trail them. Obviously I was, but he was like, I wanna talk to you for a second. And I was like, okay. So he like, so is you finna, um, so fucking rude. Rose like, so you coming with me tonight? And I was like, yeah, and we going to the next spot? Like, that's what you said. And then he was like, nah, like, is you, or something like that something along the lines of that and i was just like oh like come on now you have a public ass relationship and i'm not bringing the bitch up because i don't give a fuck and i'm not doing that he already know that i know it ain't no reason to bring up some dumb ass it's like we'll see we'll see and then i was like well i'm gonna get in my friend car and i'll see you at the next spot so he's like, okay, cool. We go to the next spot or whatever. We all walk in together. You know, we all walk in with the security and stuff like that. Make sure we good. At this point, girls are starting to flow in the section and stuff like that. So I'm on one side of like the section because it's like a little uh, two booth with a table on the inside. And my friend was on one side and um, Rose and all his people was on the other side or whatever. But they, it was all like damn near like a, a mix. But Rose was on the other side and I was on the other side. So I'm not even paying attention to Rose girl. At this point, me and my friend, we good. Like we in a section, we getting lit. They making sure we straight. I'm on one side, Rose is on the other. So he looking at me like, y'all. He looking at me like, he give me that stare. And I'm like, <laughs> cause you already know we in a club and people just assume I wasn't pushing on him. I wasn't get, I wasn't, you know, giving, paying him no mind. He was the one that was me yeah, extra. Sure. But anyways, <laughs> so he's like, hey, come take a shot, come take a shot, come take a shot. So I'm like over there and he's standing up on the couch because y'all know in the club, niggas like to stand up on the couch. And I was low on the couch because I already know how this shit go, okay? And I really don't care. I know how to move with these industry niggas. Like, I really don't care. I don't want to be associated with nothing. I don't want to make the shade one. I don't want to make shit 
I'm going to move how I want to move and I'm not going to look like I want to. I'm not going to look like I want to push up on you. None of that. So I'm sitting down here and he and we like, we, we cheers up for the shot. So I take my shot and I move my ass back over there. He like, stop playing with me. <laughs> he like, stop playing with me. I'm like, oh my God, I can't. I was like, damn, he really a cheater. Then it was time to go. So then they was going to another spot, girl, another spot. At this time, it was like three, four in the morning, and I don't want to, you know, be in a situation where I gotta be like, no, nigga, like, nah, like, this ain't happening. Cool, you made sure we were straight all night, but like, that's it. Like, I'm not fucking you. I'm not obligated to fuck you. None of that. None of that shit. Cause I could have paid for my own shit. At the end of the day, you offered. I'm not, you know, thirsty for no industry, nigga. I'm not thirsty to push up on you. None of that. So. We stopped following him because I was like, nah, like, let's just go home. We stopped following him. And he's blowing up my phone. Like, literally blowing me the fuck up. Being thirsty. I was like, wow. I was so shocked, y'all. Like, I was literally so fucking shocked. Because this nigga really be on the internet glorifying his bitch. And it's just like, damn, like, it's really no hope. These niggas ain't shit. So I ended up going home and he's steady calling me, girl. He's steady calling me. So I block his number. I block him. And he texted me the address, too. He, like, come to this location. I don't know where you at. Where, what happened to you? Like, what the fuck? So I blocked him because he was being too thirsty for me. After I blocked Rosé, this nigga has two phones, of course. He starts texting me on the other phone. He like, hey, this Rosé. Um, where you at? And I didn't even text back. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. Like, no. So, the next day comes around. He texts me. I didn't say nothing. I didn't even text back nothing. Like, I'm like, I don't fucking want you. Like, leave me alone. A couple of days passed, and then he called me. So, he's like... So, you got a boyfriend or something? Like, what's up? I was like, come on now. Me and you both know what it is. Like, me and you both know. He was like, oh... I <laughs> and then he hung up. I don't care about that that industry nigga shit. Like, there's no way I'm never going to take it there with any industry nigga at all. There's like literally no way because I just don't care for an industry nigga. Like my feelings need to be. I need a nigga to be emotionally invested in me. I need a nigga to want the best for me. I don't give a fuck about them gifts. At the end of the day, these industry niggas will, are cheating. They're cheating. I feel like people think that I want a poppin' ass nigga because, you know, my following or whatever. That's never the case. Like, I'm never thirsty for no industry nigga. Um, the nigga that I fuck with now, he real regular. Like, we regular as hell. Like, I don't care for an industry nigga. I would never be thirsty for one. I don't want one. And I will never be a corny ass that will try and expose, expose one of these industry niggas because at the end of the day, everybody knows they not shit. Everybody knows. And when you're out here in the egg, there's nine times out of ten you're going to come across a rapper. He out with his friends. He going to try to get at you, whatever. I mean, it's definitely your choice if you want to, you know, give a fuck. But it, I'm not the judge. I'm, I don't judge anybody for that. I don't judge anybody, but I'm not the one. He said he was coming back into town, like, trying to hit me up and stuff like that. Like, nigga, what? don't you get about i don't want to talk to you it's crazy because i never thought this nigga was cheating <laughs> that was my one little wild night it was fun though i ain't gonna lie it was fun it was a little spontaneous little unexpected night but yeah y'all that is it for this little girl chat it was so much fun i don't know if y'all want me to talk about any more story times or whatever because i just want i just love girl chats i love sitting down and talking i love I just love talking to y'all. Cheers to that. Cheers to not, you know, giving up the pussy. <laughs> and yeah, y'all. So that is it for my little story time. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye.